Hey, this is Skylar, and today I am going to be talking about something that God helped me out with. Uh, I am completely blind. I am autistic, and I have a chronic heart condition. Today I'm going to be talking about something that I feel that God has helped me out with. Now, this is back in late July that he delivered me from this. July of 2016. And I'm talking to y'all about this. So, um, okay, let's, let's rewind. When I was 11 years old, which would have been 2003, I was living with, I'm not going to say his name, but it, it was a certain family member's house because me and my mom, you know, were struggling. And I was living with a certain family member's house, not living at, sorry. A certain family member's house and this certain family member and his sons were devils like I would be waking up to them fist fighting and stuff like that I, I was so scared that my mom had to push me out the door so I could go to the bathroom like out of the bedroom door to the bathroom because I was I didn't know what I was gonna run into keep in mind I'm blind so or this certain family member would say the n-word uh, knowing that I hate that word that is one of my top hated English words uh, ever anyways so that's the kind of mean stuff he this family member would do to help me relax I developed a zombie problem now I know that you're probably gonna make you're probably gonna think this sounds weird and like it's no big deal. It, it is a big deal. Okay, try breaking the habit after after so many years. I don't I can't count now. Um so what is a zombie problem? Now when I was eleven, I was hooked on the word zombie and lots of other Z words. What I would do in my head, okay, this is an in my head thing, not out loud. I would think a word I would like imagine a word that I liked like I would imagine one of my favorite words in my head and then I would imagine in my head the way a zombie would say it um, which it kind of sounds like a ghost you know you, you know how they make those ghosts say boo and you know they kind of have that vibrato -y type voice that's what a yeah, zombie kind of sounds like just a little deeper and slower but yeah anyways so I would imagine myself, or not myself, I would imagine the word in my head being said in a, uh, or by a zombie, in a zombie tone. And that would give me a sense of, of relaxation and chills, like goosebumps. So I would be chilling in more ways than one. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so this zombie business would have make me have goosebumps, but it was the only way that I could relax myself so I could go to sleep because I was so scared that I don't know uh, They were gonna come, you know fist fighting and land on top of us like they have nights before So um, Zombies would help me relax and and, and after that I kind of got hooked on zombies just like it was a drug I got hooked on the the uh, sorry just thinking about how to describe this to you the goosebump type of sensation that I would get from doing this zombie business um, it's kinda hard to explain other than it's like you're not cold you're not shivering but you have goosebumps all over your body it's like I often describe used to describe it as being caressed by a satin covered tarantula um, but that's just my poetic term but yeah I would get hooked on the the uh, goosebump high that I would get from from the zombies and I because this is only in my head type thing I could do it as many times as I want to without disturbing my mother who, oh, by the way, was sleeping in the bed next to me. Now, this is when I was 11, which is 2000 and 
three. Now let's skip to 2016. I had been doing zombies from 2003 to 2016. In late July, I went to go, this is a true story, go to sleep. And I heard something clicking around in my room, like somebody was moving my cords around, and there wasn't a human in there. And I could feel a presence, come to find out it was kind of a bad presence. I did some research on zombies, and I discovered that the zombie legend came from voodoo. I know that zombies are not real, but the legend of the zombie came from voodoo, which is real. Now, my teacher once told me that the zombie legend came from Haiti, but she neglected to mention the voodoo part, okay? So I had no idea that it came from voodoo. I just knew it came from Haiti, and they had a lot of superstitions there, and all that kind of stuff. I had no clue that voodoo was in any way tied to this until I researched it. And I discovered that maybe the bad presences that were coming in my room were being drawn, you know, via, you know, the zombies and, and other stuff I was into, which I'm not going to name, but I, I discontinued all that the day after I had that presence in, in uh, 2016. I just continued the zombies and the nameless other stuff. Now, the just like a drug, the hardest thing for me when I discontinued the zombies, and I mean I cold turkey, cold turkey. The hardest thing for me when I cold turkey the zombies was the goosebump high. Because I was used to doing zombies every night since 2003 all the way to 2016. So my body was used to getting that kind of goosebump sensation. So I had to kind of think of other ways, other zombie free alternatives of how I could get those same, uh, that same goosebump high, for lack of a better words, and I, I found some whispering. Like if if somebody whispers one of my favorite words, and they're like really close in my ear, oh, it feels so good, and it gives me goosebumps. Like I had my dad whisper Impala in my ear the last time he was over here, because that's one of my favorite words. And it felt so good, like it gave me it gave me goosebumps all over my body. So whispering is a definite zombie free alternative or ZFA. Uh, another way to get goosebump high without zombies. Another way is what I call creepies. Now I've discussed this in the past video. Creepies are what I call it when people gently crawl their fingertips up my back. Um, or other parts of my body in a way, you know, like a spider. Like their fingertips are, are moving like the way a spider would move. And it's a very gentle, light uh, uh, surface touch. It, it's very, you know, on the surface of the skin, they just crawl their fingertips across the surface of your skin. That is so relaxing to me. And, yes, I erupt in goosebumps when people do that. And I often collapse. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like dead when people do that to me. This is what I look like. But, so that's another zombie free alternative is creepies. Now, and also, the, you know, those head massagers, the one with the little wires and stuff, uh, with the little rounded tips that you rub your scalp with those also help with the goosebumps too just saying and i have one from for your body they they make one for your body and it's kind of 
it's kind of like that head massager, but it's shaped like a uh, like a garden rake, and it's for your back. Oh, it feels so good. That's another alternative. Also, you know, I have these anemone mitts from Fun and Function. Uh, I made a video of those too, and they they're like these uh, mittens, and they have on the palms these little tentacles, and you just rub them on your body. They're from uh, Fun and Function, which is an autism, you know, special needs product website. And those kind of give you the horripilation too. Horripilation is another word for goosebumps. Yeah, let me discuss this. Um, ASMR also, uh, look, Google it. It's um, Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response. It's a sensation that you get on your scalp from audio, visual, or cognitive stimuli. Whispering is the most common trigger of ASMR, but there are tons of others. Um, like if you've ever tingle, have had like a tingle on your scalp when people whisper in your ear, you've had ASMR. But like I said, there everybody has their own triggers. They're as different as everybody's faces, you know, and everybody's bodies, and, and yeah, everybody's different. So. Yeah, I was able to find zombie-free alternatives uh, to get me to have that same goosebump high without the zombies. And even though sometimes I kind of, like, will have a zombie dream every once in a while, I usually will pray and they'll go away, but... Uh, Still got the residuals from the whole entire, you know, zombie problem. But I'm, I cold turkey the, the uh, practice itself and have been praying to Jesus. Yes, I'm a Christian. If you don't like it, goodbye. Anyways, well, I hope that you enjoyed this video and God bless.